What's going on everybody, it's Eric Rayweather back here helping you take your game to the next level and in today's video I'm going to be showing you one of the best dual edge blitzes in Madden 18. Now if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So guys, for today I've got a blitz for you that was actually submitted by one of my buddies. Uh, he goes by the name of Jay the Truth. He used to be a competitive player. Uh, now more of a casual player, but he's just a guy that labs a lot. He finds a lot of good stuff on offense, defense. He's got a really good mind for the game. And he uh, hit me up and said, I got a tip for the channel, you know, if you're interested. And of course, you know, anytime somebody's got, you know, less work for me to do, less less labbing that I have to do, you know, that's better. So he uh, he sent me in a free tip and he said, you know, you can post this. So I'll have his Twitter in the description below uh, so that I can, uh, you know, if you want to go tell him thank you or whatever, you know, it, it's in there. But he's a real good dude. Uh, been cool with him for a while now. So... It is out of the 5-2 normal. Now, you can find this in the Giants playbook and the Panthers playbook. That Those are the only two playbooks I'm sure that they're in. I know this formation isn't in a whole lot of playbooks. And the play we want to look at is the Fire Zone 2. Now, this setup may seem like it's a little difficult, but it's honestly not. I'm going to show you how quick it is to set up in a minute, but I'm going to break it down slow at first. Uh, just to walk through every step. So, what you want to do first is base align, which is wire triangle, and then right on the left stick. You want to slide the defensive line to the right, which is LB or L1, and right on the left stick. You want to slide the linebackers to the left, which is RB or R1, and left on the left stick. Then you want to crash your defensive line down, which is LB or L1, down on the right stick. And then this linebacker that's on the left, you want to blitz him. So you would do RB or R1, and then uh, left on the right stick, and that blitzes him. And the last thing you need to do is you want to come stand over the center and you want to hold the left trigger. Now you need to hold the left trigger for like a solid second, second and a half in order to get both people to come off the edge. So you're just going to hold it and it's going to like manually make your linebacker drop back over the middle of the field. And then he's going to kind of stand still for a second and then you just want to kind of keep dropping back and just lurk over the middle. And this is how it's going to look like that. See now I'm dropping back to lurk over the middle. Those are the routes that were coming across the middle and you know we hit the quarterback and he wound up fumbling. So that's how you set the blitz up. I'm going to show it one more time. It's baseline, shift line right, shift linebackers left, crash line down, blitz that left linebacker, and then stand over the center holding the left trigger. You want to hold it for a few seconds or a couple, you know, a second and a half, and then you drop back over the middle, and it's your responsibility to cover the middle of the field. Now, yes, we are blitzing six, so we don't have great coverage on the field. This is, this is a setup that I run more so if it's like third and long, fourth and long, where they really need to pick up some yards. And I'm not worried about them like trying to hit the quick flat or hit a quick seam route. This is a play I'll run. And then sometimes I'll mix it up and run it. Um, you know, just you can run it every down if someone's just not good at making quick reads. Because, yes, there's areas of the field that are open, but the blitz comes in so quick that you need to make the right read. Your first read pretty much has to be the right read. You have a split second read. And then, you know, if I come out in this play and give it the same look, but then, you know, I, I drop some extra guys back like this. And then, you know, I'm dropping over the middle of the field here. Now you got a lot of guys in coverage. You can't really make the quick read. And then, bam, block shed gets you. So, definitely, whenever you're doing heavy blitzes, like six-man blitzes, you need to mix coverage in with it. You don't want to just run it every single down because that makes it a little bit too predictable. And you want to run it when it makes sense to run it. So, I'm going to show it one more time. Here, I'm going to set it up and just show you how quick it is to set up. Because some people will say, oh, you can't get this set up. You'll get quick snap. You can get this set up before the, you know, offense gets to the line of scrimmage. You just have to practice it. As you're gonna see here I'm set up that quick like that's it I'm set up to go dropping back over the middle of the field and one of our guys got caught up that time we didn't uh, we probably weren't close enough over the center but here I'm gonna show you I'm gonna set it up again like I'm set up already the line ain't to the line of scrimmage that quick I'm already set up and we got two guys coming free I'm jumping over the middle to use everything now there's alternate ways you can run this if you don't want to blitz six if you want to blitz five and just get one guy in free uh, you do the same setup, but like let's say you just want a guy to come off the right edge and you want to leave that left linebacker in coverage. You just do all the steps, but you leave that left linebacker in coverage and then you come stand over the center and you get the same effect. You get the guy coming off the right edge now, but you got extra guys in coverage. Now, if you want to do the opposite and have the, uh, the just the left guy come, you would do the same setup as before, but you have to do one extra step. You want to drop this guy here on the right. You want to drop him back now, and then you'll just have the guy coming from the left. Now that that's a little bit harder because you're creating an extra step to do it that way. Uh, but see that time he got picked up, but the defensive end walked in. It just depends. Somebody's gonna always come in free. But 
It's a very good blitz if you mix coverage in with it. It's something that I don't really, I haven't seen anybody run this. I don't know if anybody runs this, uh, except the person that sent it to me. But uh, this is a different look than people are used to seeing. And it stops the run pretty good too because you have those five defensive linemen uh, on the line. So it's actually hard to run against as well. So definitely lab this up if you're looking for something new to run. This might be it for you. You can get pressure off each edge or you can get dual pressure uh they need to block seven people to pick it up you know just one person blocking is going to pick up the dual pressure uh so definitely try to lab it for yourself see if you like it and uh you know see what it can do for you i'll have the setup in the description for those of you that you know you know, like looking at the description or looking at reading the setup it makes it a little bit easier for you i'll go put that in the description for you guys and as always if you enjoyed this video just drop a like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time